Hi, this is Radio Listener from Radio Listeners Electric Easel dot com Incorporated. And what video are we up to? I think it's video nine. Uh, this is exercise two, five, six, seven videos. I don't know, but it's not that important. I what I uh, uh, just to reiterate: if you're working on a particular part, pull up that video to the part. If you're one of those few brave souls that looks at every video. Uh, more power to you, and I hope I'm empowering you by showing you more of this. Okay, as that is, where where did we leave off? What well, we left off, we looked at NodeEdit.xml and Toto, and uh, in that example, they Google had provided all the source code for NodeEdit to avoid typo mistakes. Uh, which is a good thing and uh, we're not going to reiterate what we did there but that's video 8. Now in this video 9 what we got to do is expand the source folder get to this part of the namespace right click and we're going to add a new class module and some of this Android does for you and some of it you have to do yourself now of note this super class is tempting to paste in uh, the class from the uh, example but for some reason if you paste in this class it uh, it doesn't work but if you type Android dot app dot activity oh, would help if I knew where I was typing <laughs> Here we go. Node edit and in the super class Android dot app dot activity. Now you can go another route on this. What you can do is type activity and uh, do one of the control keys, I'm not sure which, and it will find Android dot app for you. But in this case just if you type it in, it works, you get your finish button and voila we got a class now in the class the first thing you want to do is go down to source and we're going to throw an on create bundle in there and it's override implement methods and just scroll down look for on create bundle this one and click OK now in this now the first thing I'm going to do is just leave this call to the parent because it's not clear from my looking at the notes and I will go back to the answer just to make sure that this stays here but I believe it does. It could go at the end of the routine where they sometimes go also. And uh, okay the first thing we're going to add to the on create is we're going to set the view. Now the view is set to uh, this node edit.xml and when you process it it gets added to our layout but that's what it is. It's basically the stuff from the last video will be the view and we'll have the uh, stuff we described before of title and the text box for title and the body and the body and then the create note menu entry. Now this part's a little tricky because you want to just cut and paste and what you can do and what do we got here? We got M title text and body text, edit text, find view by ID title body oh excuse me it's early in the morning oh got a little agita. and uh, so what what is this basically doing these three lines what it's doing it's searching this note edit XML in the R file and the R file is where these things are compiled and give havoc to decimal and whatnot but it's basically saying M title text will be that title thing. We uh, title field we set up in the last video, and this will be the body field, and this will be the confirm. But if you notice, we got these squiggly lines. 
these things haven't been defined. So the first thing we want to do is just hover over edit text and see the first option import edit text from Android widget. And voila, these two squigglies go away. Now what we want to do is import button from Android widget. And that squiggly line goes away. Now these we can either create a local variable which we don't want or create a field and title text which is what we do want. Now the reason you know it's not a local variable is because it will be used in other parts of the uh, class. And we'll do the same thing for embody text. Okie doke. And let's give us this little room. And how we do on time? Six minutes. Yay. <laughs> Okay, now what we're going to do is cut and paste. Control C, Control V, Control X, Control A, and it's all different if you're on a different operating system, and that's just the way it is. Now, M row ID is another one that we want to be a field. And it's set to null for first, and we're going to bundle extras, get intent, get extras. Now, if you recall two videos back, what we did was we bundled the title, the body, and the row ID in the extras. And let's pull that up a second. Let's see. Uh, on create. is it? Mm -hmm. uh, here it is. Put extra row ID, put row, uh, extra title, put extra body. See where we did this on list item click? So this notepad java has on list item click. Now if you notice this was a squiggly line. The intent is for the note edit class. The note edit class is what we're creating here and it's going to have, uh, this is like uh, reading the intent that instantiated it, get those extras, which is title, body, and row ID, and then before it sets them, it checks to see, is title is not equal to no, set text title, and if body is not equal to no, set text body. Okay, that's good. And we got 8.14 to go. Should we put one more little blurb in? Sure, why not? And now this is outside the on create. And this is the uh, wrong paste. Ah, that's control C, control V. Uh, endless <laughs> doing it so many years uh, da, da. Uh, okay what is this I want to delete that token so I guess is this goes here oh, we got next here cannot be resolved to a type if okay so we got, we're setting up the listener I'm running out of time and in the view let's import view and on click listener on click view view we're going to be filling this out in the next video but what this basically is um is the listener class now it's listening for an intent that calls it that will send the extras of key title, key body, and key row ID. Mouthful, huh? Running out of time. Tune in <laughs> for the next video and see more. Uh, thanks for anyone that's going through all these. And uh, I'm Radio Listener, Radio Listeners Electric Easel .com Incorporated. 
aka John Leone from New York and uh, thanks for listening see you later